French Bulldogs are an awesome little companion dog. They have amazing, humorous personalities. They are affectionate and have short, easy to manage coats. This and much more makes them one of the top dog breeds of the smaller variety all over the world. This video is dedicated to everything you could ever possibly want to know about keeping your Frenchie's appearance in tip top shape. So stick around for this grooming deep dive to find out exactly what you need in terms of brushes or equipment and what comes with keeping the adorable Frenchie looking its absolute best. Welcome back to the Fenrir French Bulldog Show. If this is your first time here, my name's Will. I'm a canine behaviorist and I'm the founder here at FenrirCanineLeaders.com. This channel is dedicated to helping you learn everything you could ever want to know about the incredible French Bulldog. And if you love the Frenchie as much as we do, start by hitting that subscribe button and turning on the notification bell and you'll never miss a future Frenchie video. So then, let's dive straight into today's video and we'll head straight into the brushing requirements. Now, if you are familiar with the French Bulldog, you know they have a short and easy to manage coat, but this does not mean that they don't shed. You can expect to regularly find strands of their hair around your house, on your furniture, worked into your carpeting, or even on your clothes. Now, thankfully, grooming the Frenchie is an easy task and will be enjoyable for both dog and canine leader alike. Even if you are okay with the hair floating around, brushing is still an essential part of keeping your Frenchie comfortable and looking good. Keeping up with their coat with a brush will help remove dirt, uncomfortable loose hair, and spread natural oils that form near the base of a dog's hair up and through the rest of the coat, which is incredibly good for it. The brushes that you're going to need for a Frenchie are probably a grooming mitt, maybe a rubber comb, and a firm bristle brush is ideal. Any of these three are enough to keep the Frenchie's coat in good shape. Just work the brush over the fur once a week, and you're pretty much done. Now, bathing can be something of a different matter as it is recommended that these quirky little companions are bathed at least once a month. As the skin problems are prevalent in the breed, you will need a high quality all natural dog shampoo. Or you might even want to play it safe and just use a hypoallergenic shampoo from day one. Never use human shampoo as a substitute for good canine shampoo. Human shampoo is not chemically balanced for canine fur and skin, so using it is just asking for trouble. And as the Frenchie already has sensitive skin, it's just not worth the risk. Now, after you are done bathing your Frenchie, make sure you try you dry them thoroughly and take special care to really make sure to dry in between any wrinkles as well. Leaving the in-between of any wrinkles damp can quickly form bacteria or a yeast that makes skin infections and just nasty issues. Hey guys, if you're not already, you should be following our Fenrir Rescue Diaries over on Fenrir Canine Training Channel. That is following my journey of working at a rescue centre, helping dogs that have been abandoned, abused, given up or found as strays and helping implement behaviour modification programmes to allow them to become perfect canine companions that can be rehomed to their forever homes. So if you're interested in following my journey of how I do that, there'll be a link to that channel down in the description box below. I think you'll really enjoy the journey, but I'll let you get back to the video you were just watching. You also want to brush the Frenchie out once their fur dries. Water can easily become trapped beneath the hair close to the skin and brushing sure to dry it out properly. Any dampness left to just sit on the skin can lead to hot spots, skin irritation or even infections. Now, Frenchies also have sensitive eyes, and it is essential to mop up any discharge you may see with a cotton swab. You should also make sure to add a little eye inspection whenever you're doing your grooming sessions as a whole. If you see any redness around their eyelids, it is important to make a vet appointment right away, as the French Bulldog is susceptible to something called cherry eye. Now, cherry eye is a prolapse in the tear duct that can cause inflammation and redness and just isn't very nice for the dog. Now, thankfully, Frenchies are not as prone to ear infections as other bulldog breeds, but you should at least check their ears out when you are grooming them. If they need to be cleaned, a canine ear cleaning solution and a cotton ball will do the job. Just dampen the cotton ball and clean the visible area of the ear. Do not push the cotton ball down into the ear canal as it is possible to damage the dog's inner ear by doing so. If you notice any odour, ear scratching, head tilting, strange discharge or large amounts of flaky like substance in the dog's ear, in that case a vet appointment is in order as this can be a sign of an ear infection or parasites that will require medication to resolve. Now, French Bulldog's nails grow at an average pace, though some individuals can need nail clipping a little sooner than others. The average call for nail trimming is usually around every six weeks, depending on how you walk them. An excellent way to tell if you need to do it sooner is to listen to when your dog gets up from lying down or walking on any hard surfaces. If you hear the nails clicking against the floor as they stand, then they are ready for a trim. 
Now, we already mentioned it earlier, but we want to pay extra attention to the wrinkles or flaps of skin on the French Bulldog's body. If you want to be a little extra cautious, you can wipe these areas with a baby cloth and then dry them well with a dry towel. This, again, will really help to make sure that no yeast or bacteria builds up, which causes those nasty infections and some quite serious skin issues. So there we go. That is pretty much what you need to do to keep your uh, French Bulldog looking wonderful and being nice, lovely and comfortable. If you did enjoy it, please give this video a thumbs up and remember to subscribe and turn on that notification bell. I've got two dedicated French Bulldog videos coming here every single week and I can't wait to speak to you again on the next episode of the Fenrir French Bulldog Show.